Does what no one predicted, at least no one I know, right? Minnesota Democrats swept all four statewide races and regained full control over the state legislature for the first time in a decade. Yeah, really, nobody saw this coming. Political reporter Theo Keith joins us now with how the DFL managed these statewide wins. Yeah, the people in both parties didn't expect this either. So let's talk about this. Uh, Tim Walls beating Scott Jensen by almost eight percentage points. People involved with these campaigns told me today they knew it was over right around the time that we were starting to point out that this is moving in Tim Walls' direction. And that was when Hennepin County came in with big results, a 250,000 vote margin in Hennepin County alone for Tim Walls. Scott Jensen would have needed to run up big numbers in the suburbs to have any chance, and he didn't do it. Let's take Carver County, for example. This county is moving towards the Democrats, but it's Scott Jensen's home county. Again, he would have needed to pick up uh, big margins. He only got 52% of the vote, worth going back to the 2018 governor's race. And Jeff Johnson, the Republican, got 53% of the vote in Carver County. So Scott Jensen actually did a little bit worse than Jeff Johnson did in his home county. There's somebody who's really thankful for Governor Walz's big margin, nearly eight percentage point win, and that is Keith Ellison the attorney general, because Keith Ellison uh, did about seven points worse than Tim Walls four years ago and seven points worse than Tim Walls again this year, defeating Jim Schultz, the Republican challenger, by less than one percentage point. Again, people involved in these campaigns are telling me today that they think if Walls didn't do as well as he did, winning by almost eight percentage points, Jim Schultz would have beaten Keith Ellison. As it is, a statewide sweep for Democrats yet again. There you go. All right. Thanks, Theo. Control of the U.S. Senate is in limbo.